So Myra, do you like your cheesecake? Yes, I haven't tried a cheesecake before and I think it's one of my favorites now. We'll eat up then, don't waste any food. Excuse me, what are you doing with that kid? Nothing, Myra and I are just eating cheesecake and ice cream. Do you know that you're committing a serious crime? What crime? Myra, do you know this lady? How do you know that she isn't a child abuser? Huh, my mum would never abuse me. Not like Boris and Caleb. Are you racist? Oh, I'm not racist. I'm just telling you that it will be better if you were with a family of your skin tone. Mama, this lady is crazy. She's being really racist. Oh, it's just one of those entitled Karens I saw all over the internet. Just ignore her while you can. I think I better send you to child services and hope you'll be adopted by a Indian family. What no? My mum knows what she's doing and don't you know what's the story of my life? No, but I don't want to listen to it. You see, I didn't always have Mary as my parent. In fact, I had a whole family just like me. However, one day, they died in a car crash. I was alone with my brother, but then someone already adopted my brother leaving me alone. I was so sad. But luckily Mary came along and adopted me. She said that no matter what skin tone you are, you will always be loved. That is the funniest story I've ever heard. Leave my Myra alone. What? I said, leave my Myra alone. Ah. Uh. After which I called the police. You're under arrest, Karen, for racism and assumptions that Mary abuses her adopted daughter. But am I police? No buts. Get in the car now with all your other family members. That man was really nice. Yeah, now let's eat our cheesecake. Yeah.